Hi guys, if it's Tuesday and Blackie's running a little bit late, it must be Dan and Dirty Woods Craft. Stay with me. Okay guys, sorry for this being a little bit late being posted, but I had some uh, appointments I had to keep and it put me behind. But don't worry, we're going to try to do better. Now, today we're going to do something quick and easy and sweet along the trail. Now, it's we're always going and we're carrying things like the chilies, the spaghettis, the heavy meals, because we like that. But making something sweet out there can be just oh so awesome. Because after you've had a long day, being able to sit down and generate something sweet to eat is just, it'll make your uh, camp companions hate your gut. Put it that way. So, what we're going to use today, we're going to use our canteen kit. We're going to start out with our canteen cup, and we're going to get our lid out of there. And we're going to pull out our handy dandy spoon. Your next ingredients that you're going to need are these little lunch size sliced peaches or some sort of fruit. Now for a small portion, use one cup. For a big portion, use two cups. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take into our canteen cup and we're going to pour these two things of peaches. These are just diced up peaches with syrup. Just like that. Now, save one of the cups. It's got a use in a second. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add to that cup about a quarter of this little cup right here that the peaches just come out of, we're going to add about that. Not quite half, just under half. Add that to it. Now we're going to get the stove fired up. Okay, now that our stove is lit, we're going to take and set our peaches right up there onto the heat we're going to keep an eye on this stir it ever so often and we want to heat this up really warm we don't want to bring it to a boil but we want to get it really good and hot I'm just going to throw the lid on to give it a little more insulation okay now yellow cake mix we're going to take one of the cups that we poured the peaches out of and we're going to fill it full now this will be a to your taste type thing. I like two cups of peaches to one cup of cake mix. I've known people that liked them a little different, like one and a half, whatever. You just gotta experiment with this at home and figure out how you like it. Whenever it's almost ready to boil, not quite, but you can tell it's about to boil, that's when you add this and you take it off the heat and let it rest. So hey, see a foam time. coming? That tells me she's about to boil. Now I'm going to take it and I'll give it a good stir, just like that. Make sure she's balanced. Now I'm going to add in my cake mix. About half of it, give it a stir. Half of it, give it a stir. Should have locked my handles, shouldn't I? like this. Now take it off the heat. Now add in the cake mix. 
like that. Stir it in real good. So there's no clumps left. Just like that. Smear it down nice and smooth. Put the lid on. Let it sit there 10 minutes. And then we're sitting after 10 minutes. What we have is cobbler. That, as you can see, is thick, it's cooked. That's good. The cake puffs up, gets real sweet. Now you can of course change this for any kind of fruit you like. You can also um, change up the cake mix. My favorite is peaches and butter cake mix, but I couldn't find it so I had to settle for yellow. But I've done this with uh, ch uh, cherries and cherry flavored cake. I've done it with cherries and strawberry cake. I've done it with blueberries. I've done it with any kind of fruit in a heavy syrup that's a lot of liquid it's not just dry fruit and you add a little bit of water to it and then you add just a measured amount of cake mix to it will produce this now of course this is the same recipe as dump except i'm not baking it i'm just heating it up by heating it up in whatever container i have my bush pot or whatever and getting my peaches or whatever almost starting to boil and then i add it in i do the same job and i got a quicker meal that's good. Okay, guys, I really appreciate y'all watching these videos, and thank you for your comments. Please like and subscribe if you haven't, and if you would like to see me do anything else, please include it in the comments below. Till next time, I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Woodscraft, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys. I'm going to destroy my diet now. <laughs>